a reporter from the New York Times called, and my assistant answered the phone, and the reporter said, does Miss Weddington have a comment today about Roe versus Wade? It was decided today. And she said, how was it decided? And the reporter said, she won it, seven to two. When you're the preacher's kid, you're always different. So through my life, I was a leader in various things, going to law school before women did that, running for a state legislative position when women didn't do that, all kinds of things that, quote, women didn't do. It was just a part of being different. Having a law that made abortion illegal didn't mean there was no abortion. It just meant that abortion was not safe, and often it was very dangerous and done under terrible circumstances. I I couldn't go to sleep the night before. I was very conscious of how the fate of many women for many years would be resting in part on my argument. And when it's time, the marshal comes out and says, in essence, oh yea, oh yea, oh yea, all ye please rise and face the court. Everyone stands. Justice Berger, then Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, said Miss Weddington. Mrs. Weddington, you may proceed whenever you're ready. And it was like I was so nervous until I stood. And once I was up, I was totally calm. We are not here to advocate abortion. We do not ask this court to rule that abortion is good. We are here to advocate that the decision as to whether or not a particular woman will continue to carry or will terminate a pregnancy is a decision that should be made by that individual that in fact she has a constitutional right to make that decision for herself. Good evening. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. The majority in cases from Texas and Georgia said that the decision to end a pregnancy during the first three months belongs to the woman and her doctor, not the government. Thus, the anti-abortion laws of 46 states were rendered unconstitutional. If anybody had said then, you will still be talking about this in 38 and a half years, never would have believed that. That it would be a major issue in the Congress, it would be a major issue in political races, with almost every state legislature passing so many restrictions. Uh, And so here we are 38 and a half years later and it is one of the most important and most crucial issues in American life.